Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody is ready for an absolutely amazing Tuesday. I am here with my jungle friends. We're looking forward to an amazing day. And here to kick us off with the Pledge of Allegiance is one of our extraordinary kindergartners from Miss Sullivan's class. Here is Matthew Zhang. Matthew, take it away. Okay, so as many of you may know, sometimes when we come into a new year, people will make what are called resolutions. They might be goals, they might be things that they want to do, things that they want to change. I'm not a big fan of resolutions. Instead, I kind of like to do something that's called the one word. Now, I didn't come up with this, but it is something that was come up by a man by the name of John Gordon. And what it is, is where you come up with a word that you'd like to be your focus your inspiration, the thing that's going to drive you and hopefully set the theme for your year. And it can be anything. Some years I've done soar. Last year, because I was new as the principal of Weaver, the word I chose was pod because a group of whales is called a pod. And I was really focusing in on building community, building culture, still doing those things. But that really was the word that I was kind of setting as my tone. So I'm not going to tell you yet my, what my word is for this year, but I encourage each and every one of you, including your teachers, staff, and parents that are watching this as well, to think of what that one word is going to be to set the tone for 2021. Now, I've given your teachers several resources that they can use, but there's a lot of things out there. Sometimes a word will just hit you and you'll be like, that's it. That's my word. And so at the end of this week, I'm going to be creating a flip grid where students and staff and families will be able to share what their one word might be. And on Friday, I will let you know what mine is going to be. So I hope everybody has a great day. I hope you spend some time thinking about what your one word can be. And I hope you're ready to go crush it. Have a great day, everybody. Hi, my name is Jimmy Page, and I'm one of the authors, along with John Gordon and Dan Britton, of the great kids book, One Word for Kids. Many people have asked us to read it, so here goes. It was the first day of school, and Stevie was falling asleep. He was tired, grumpy, and sad that summer was over. But his ears perked up when his teacher, Mrs. B, said, I believe there is one word that will help you have your best year ever. It will be so great you'll enjoy it even more than summer vacation. Stevie's friend Eli raised his hand and asked, what word is that? The word will likely be different for everyone, Mrs. B said. I have a special assignment for each of you. It's to find your own one word for the year. So how do we find it? Stevie's classmate Jimmy asked. I will help you, but I want you to discover it on your own first, Mrs. B answered. That night, while having dinner with his family, Stevie wouldn't talk or eat. When his mom asked what was wrong, he told her about the one-word assignment. He was sad because he had no idea how to find his word. Maybe your one word is annoying, his sister Callie shouted. I think it should be negative, his sister Jade yelled. Come on, girls, Stevie's dad quickly responded. Stevie, maybe you should think about some of the things you love to do or your favorite places to go. Maybe you'll find your one word there. 
That night, Stevie went to bed and thought about all his favorite places and things to do, hoping he'd find his one word. Maybe my one word is fun, as he played on the playground. Maybe my one word is love, as he dreamt about playing with his puppy. Maybe my one word is kind, as he spent time with his grandma. Maybe my one word is smile. Or maybe my one word is strong, as he played soccer with his friend. Maybe my one word is brave, as he stood on the diving board above the pool. Maybe my one word is fast. The next morning, Stevie woke up excited. He was still thinking about all the words that he could choose, like fun, strong, fast, brave, kind, smile, and love. When school started, Mrs. B said, I have great news for all of you. Today, I'm going to give you the secret to finding your one word. You don't find it. It finds you. And I'm going to give you three easy steps to discover it and live it. What's the first step? Abby yelled. The first step is to look into your heart, Mrs. B said. Ask yourself, what one word will help me be my best? The second step is to look up, said Mrs. B. Look up and around and believe that there is one word meant for you. If you're open to it, it will come to you. What's the third step, Cole asked. That comes after you know your one word, Mrs. B answered. I'll tell you that step soon, but first, who's ready to discover their one word? All the students cheered. On the bus ride home, Stevie thought about the first step. He thought about words that would help him be his very best. As Stevie walked off the bus, he waved to his friend George and said goodbye to Miss Joy, the bus driver. Thank you, sugar. I love how positive you are today, Mrs. Joy said. That night, as Stevie walked his dog, Huxley, he thought about all the possible words he looked up and remembered what Miss Joy said to him as he got off the bus. In that moment, his one word came to him, positive. He remembered how grumpy he had been when summer was over. Mrs. B said his one word would help him have his best year ever. He now knew his one word was positive and he couldn't wait to tell everyone. Stevie ran home and told his family. The next day, Stevie walked into school feeling good that he had discovered his one word. All right, class, today is the day. Tell me your words, Mrs. B said. Grace shouted, my one word is strong. John said, mine is grow. Mine is joy, Deja said. My one word is win, Jake said. Mine is care, Dawn said. Courage. Xavier said. Evilise said, my one word is believe. Mine is faith, Catherine said. Class, I am so proud of each one of you, Mrs. B said. Here is the best part. The third and last step is to look out and live your one word. On the bus ride home, Stevie was extra positive with Miss Joy. At soccer practice, Stevie encouraged his teammates and even shared the one word with his coach. His coach loved the idea and shared it with the team. At home, he was even positive with his sisters. Stevie lived his one word for the entire school year and on the last day of school, he realized that Mrs. B was right. He had had his best year ever and it was even better than summer vacation. If one word can help Stevie, think about what one word can do for you. So what's your one word? The end.